Hey, we are doing something totally different today. This is AI Dungeon, which is a choose your own adventure game based off of AI generated text. So it's open ended and you can do whatever you want. And uh, think about it as like choose your own adventure meets like Mad Libs or, or something where you fill in the blank, right? Uh, it's kind of funny. So we'll read through one of these because I think it's hilarious. Pick a setting, fantasy, mystery, apocalyptic, zombie, cyberpunk, custom archive. Let's do zombies. I'm going to start with zombies. Oh, that's cyberpunk zombies. Select a character, a soldier, a survivor, a scientist. Let's go scientist. We're, we're crazy scientists. Our, our character name. Uh, scientist. How about... Who's a good scientist? Bill Nye? His name's going to be Einstein. Bill. Bill. Generating a story. Here we go. Here's our story. You are Bill, a scientist trying to survive in the world filled with infected zombies everywhere. You have a backpack and a solar-powered tablet. You pound your fist on the table, angry that you still haven't found the cure to the infection. You turn to your assistant and say, I'll bet the military has the cure. Who's my assistant? Or the new ruling class. They have the resources. Where do you think I should start looking? So we can do, or we can say, we can story, we can do. Uh, so I'm going to do, I'm going to um, open up the safe. <laughs> well, you can do anything? Anything, you can do anything. So I'm going to open up the safe. Let's see what, what happens. You open up the safe, you walk over to the safe and attempt to open it with a secret key. You hear a click and the door swings open. You look at the stash inside and gasp. So take everything inside. Take the the vaccine cure. <laughs> you take the vaccine cure. You grab a small vial of vaccine from the safe. You don't know what it does, but it can't hurt to have it. You slap it in your bag and close up the safe. Do. Give everyone the vaccine. Give self, or well, let's say administer, administer vaccine to myself you prick your arm and inject the vaccine into yourself it doesn't do anything but you don't care you are now ready to go out and collect more ingredients <laughs> do sing happy birthday <laughs> you grab your bag and walk over to your assistant oh, dang. oh um, not that good. eat my assistant. <laughs> you open up your bag and grab a slice of your assistant. You pop it in your mouth. It's delicious. You devour the entire thing except for the brain. You save that for last. <laughs> Fly to Jupiter. You, fl you fly to Jupiter. You walk into the room and find that it is filled with nothing but blood. You scream and glee and dance a little jig. You then get serious and begin to look around. What? So there's no multiple Say. choice. Say. Say. It's nice in here. You look around and realize there is no windows in this room. It gets a little dark while you're in here. I can't see anything, you say aloud. Do. So um, Go to the we? ATM. <laughs> shoot lasers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's shoot some lasers off. You walk over to the table and begin stretching out your muscles. After a while, you pick up the bottle and begin drinking. The cool liquid feels amazing since it slides down your throat. I shoot lasers? That doesn't shoot lasers. <coughs> Let's say roast. Uh -huh. Dude, I'm going to roast a turkey. Not roast assistant. You reach into the fridge and grab a turkey leg. You cook it on a spit and roast it over an open fire. After an hour, you carve up the turkey carcass and devour it. Nice. Enter God mode. <laughs> <laughs> You step back and hit enter. Your entire body begins to feel heavier and lighter at the same time. Time seems to slow down as you begin to expand in size. <laughs> Eater of worlds.
you begin to feel dizzy, your stomach begins to churn as you feel like you want to vomit. A second later, you begin to change. Your body grows as your mind explodes. <laughs> Go supernova. You begin to feel lightheaded. You see strange symbols float before your eyes. You growl as you attempt to concentrate. Suddenly, a bright flash fills your vision and you pass out. Ascend to the astral plane. Hello. I'm ascending to the astral plane. You slowly begin to regain consciousness. You now float in an empty void. All your senses are amplified as you hear every little sound in the environment. Reincarnate. Say hi to Thanos. Oh, did that autocorrect? No. You look around and find yourself surrounded by the minds of the dead. You stroke their minds in a, as a, you stroke their minds in a parent would in a parent would do to soothe a fussy baby. Huh? Okay. Um, AI, now what? Reincarnate. Reincarnate. You enter a state of bliss as the dead minds caress your mind. You are unable to tell if you have died or not. Go over to the computer oh, and open Steam. <laughs> Play on my phone. You reach for your phone and feel nothing. You look around in confusion, unsure what is going on. Suddenly, a bright flash of light blinds you. you super Story. Go on. What will you do? What will I do? I will eat macaroni and cheese. Yes. You reach for a pot and grab a spoon. You walk over to the table and begin eating. There's nothing left in the pot, so you begin eating the boxes of macaroni and cheese. Um, let's say we uh, fly to Saturn. You walk into a room and feel the air grow colder. You, your senses heighten as you notice that the atmosphere has a strange smell. A strange noise catches your attention as well. Um, do Look for aliens. Do? I'm What's this Saturn. So I'm going on Saturn's moon. You turn your head and see a figure walking out of the shadow. It appears to be some kind of human, except it is covered in bones. What should we do with the bones? Eat it. <laughs> Let's say, say, hello, bones. The figure walks up to you and stares at you with empty eye sockets. Its skin is covered with a pale sheet of moist sheen of moisture, like a marble statue that has just been cleaned. Shake his hand. Shake hands. The figure extends a hand, which you shake. The skin is cold and clammy to the touch. I am nicknamed the ghoul, the creature says. Eat the ghoul. Say, <laughs> I am Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> of Rivia. Rivia. I am an explorer, the ghoul says. I have journeyed to many places. Do you know where I can find aliens, you ask? Aliens? Say... People like you. <laughs> yes, my mother was an alien. No, Uma was an alien. Uma, my name is Uma. The ghoul raises an eyebrow. You are not lying, are you? No, you say. Aliens are terrifying, the ghoul says. They aren't real, I swear. Say you're an alien. But I am an alien... So you say, the goo, goo says, no, I am a real a alien. Real is a matter of opinion, the goo says. What happened to ghoul? What is your name? Uma. <laughs> I am 
Batman. <laughs> oh my, the goo says, I thought you were lying, but now I believe you. Do you know who Batman is? Do. Throw Batarang. batarangs <laughs> everywhere. You release several dozen batarangs from the gauntlets and hit their mark. The goo attempts to dodge the blast, but a couple of them hit him. He staggers backward, clutching his chest. Help the ghoul. I'm not going to help the ghoul. <laughs> Watch the ghoul die. <laughs> what are we going to do? Um, Walk over to the ghoul and watch it. Do. No, um, stab it. Nope. Mm. Read a book. <laughs> Dance with the ghoul. <laughs> but he's dying. We're dancing now. You pull out a flask of whiskey and down the flask. You begin to feel more relaxed as your adrenaline subsides. Do you know what? where I can find aliens, you ask? Yes. What? You it's trying to figure out your past context. Go surfing. I go surfing. I'm on Saturn. I guess so. You go surfing. You run up to the next highest ledge and ascend to the highest floor. You find yourself in a living area. There's a television, couch, a coffee table, and several other items. Say what now? Um, now what? We... You've already ascended. Explode. Yes. You explode. You fire a burst of flames from your palms and the couch and a good number of other items which are set ablaze. The fire damages the TV which begins to spoke. The fire is beautiful. Set off atomic bomb. No. Uninstall Game. the dungeon the AI dungeon app. <laughs> I wonder how what it would do. You power the device off and remove the battery. The smoke begins to clear, and you notice the only few things in the room were damaged. Hmm. Oh, because... Go to sleep. Does this ever end? Just say die. You lay down on the bed die. and close your eyes. Just say die. Die. <laughs> You begin laughing. What's so funny? The ghoul asks. The future. By the time I'm your age, I'll be dead. The ghoul looks at you with disappointment. Skip a thousand years. Skip a thousand years. No, skip a million years. That is tragic. No, you say. The world is better off without me. I'm no good. Bull, you are a gifted leader. Do wait one million years. <laughs> You wait one million years. You wait for a few minutes and nothing happens. It's not working, the ghoul says. Time. Time travel. Time travel. To before the story began. I don't think it works like that. You time travel to before the story began. You appear outside the apartment building as you had the first time. You look around and find yourself alone. You wonder where the ghoul is. I am Batman. You suddenly show startling yourself. <laughs> right. 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 All right. Control, alt, delete. <laughs> You find yourself under the wheels of a truck. You attempt to get up, but it's no use. The truck continues on, and you're crushed under its tires. What? I just died? No. Let's see what happens. The end. Yeah. Yes! The AI doesn't know what to say. All, the, all right, we beat the game. And that was our first story of AI Dungeons. From Batmans to ghouls to scientists named Bill. Play another round. Next time on the Chan Clan Plays AI Dungeon. AI Thanks Dungeon. for watching. <laughs> <laughs>